Uh, hi everybody, I am Omar Lampado, I work at Alarus, uh, the Neo4j first um, partner in Italy. Um, we develop in Alarus um, software uh, using um, web technologies and uh, service-oriented architecture. We are working on uh, the polyglot persistent world. Um, now, we are a solution pattern of Neo4j uh, since uh, 2013 and uh, we like uh, to call us uh, software integrators because uh, we write uh, solution, project and uh, drivers and connector around uh, the Neo4j database. Uh, in fact, we develop the JDBC driver uh, that uh, allows uh, to connect all the Java world with the graph database in Neo4j. Um, we started it uh, uh, like our own project and now it's an official driver. We are developing uh, also the APOC uh, procedures, a set uh, of procedures and functions that extend the Neo4j feature. Um, so, today I'm here to show you a new polyglot persistence uh, project, the doc to graph project. Uh, starting from the 16 uh, Couchbase connector and the MongoDB connector, uh, we rewrite uh, the code and uh, extend the, f uh, the functionality to allow uh, to ingest a JSON file, web API, st uh, streaming for web API, and uh, a new one Couchbase connector, a new one MongoDB connector. So, an uh, all purpose JSON ingester. Uh, Dr. Graph has a custom logic uh, to transform JSON into Graph. Uh, it's a customizable, uh, it, you can develop uh, your own uh, builder to change the um, resulting graph. So, um, we start uh, to look in the, um, the context uh, where Dr. Graph work, how it works, and um, finally, a an, uh, usage example with the Spotify data. Uh, Spotify data. So, um, <coughs> the document oriented DB, uh, which are Couchbase and MongoDB are the top famous. Uh, use, new for, uh, use JSON uh, format to represent the data and uh, is a worldwide used, used database. Um, here you can see uh, three of the huge amount of uh, services that expose uh, JSON uh, uh, representation of uh, their REST API and Web API. So, JSON is a, a widely used um, format. I imagine, I imagine all, uh, all of you know what JSON format is. It's very good to represent uh, a document. Document is uh, a, a tree structure. So if you, uh, yeah, if you um, see a document, there is a root and a child. So uh, starting from a tree, we can build a graph reusing the node of other tree. Uh, the way to build uh, the relation and seek uh, the existing node it's, uh, uh, is uh, um, customizable and uh, also the name of relationship, the number of the relationship, every, every single uh, behavior is uh, customizable. Uh, here an example uh, to uh, explain uh, when a JSON become a tree. So uh, um, here you can see ID and name are a primitive attribute and became a node. 
uh, become an node. And uh, this uh, internal doc is a complex attribute, and uh, it becomes uh, another node with this relation with the father. Here you can see a more complex uh, structure, the root uh, with the, the children. Um, starting for a tree, uh, or that represents a JSON, or JSON that represents a tree, we can merge uh, this tree with another, and uh, we start to see a new graph. So, um, this uh, um, there are the features of uh, doc to graph Synchronization uh, in real time using uh, the connector to doc, uh, Couchbase and the MongoDB. You don't have to do manual operation. Uh, you can customize uh, the behavior of uh, all the transformation logic. So the label applied, the name relationship, and so on. Um, okay, the reusing existing node is the, the core feature. So uh, it's n the Doctograph uh, don doesn't ingest the JSON like a flat map, but uh, uh, it uh, creates the structure, uh, as you have seen, and uh, reuse existing nodes. So uh, when you have to analyze uh, your data, you can do some mm, specific graph analysis uh, that you can to do with a, a flat uh, uh, representation. You can import uh, JSON from any kind of data source because uh, uh, there are uh, a central uh, plugin and the connector all around. Um, finally, it's an open source. You can find it on uh, GitHub uh, of Larus, and it's released under Apache 2 license. Okay, the reusing a 16 node tenant. Um, when uh, you ingest the JSON, uh, and uh, during the ingestion you find the, this node, the code uh, uses a merge um, command instead of create. OK. Um, that graph is composed by a core that is a, a Neo4j plugin that exposes two procedures and a set of uh, um, connectors. All the connectors uh, call uh, through the driver uh, one of uh, the procedures, the upsert or the delete procedures. Document key, it's very important because uh, uh, two complete different JSON string for the system are the same if uh, you send it with the same key. To delete it, you must use the document key. So, the um, Couchbase connector, it's a, a standalone uh, Java process that uses the DCP uh, technology of uh, Couchbase that is used to synchronize the instances in a cluster. It works with Couchbase 4.6 uh, and uh, Neo4j 3.0.1. Um, as you can see, when a new uh, upsert in Couchbase uh, occurs, uh, it simply calls the Neo4j core, where uh, all the logic is uh, held. As the same, uh, Mongo connector. Uh, it's a, a MongoDB connector uh, with uh, a specific module, the Neo4j JSON doc manager. Now, the, the example. I used uh, uh, this uh, link to get uh, some data from Spotify. It's, uh, they are a public API. And uh, I 
insert it inside the, the couch base using this command uh, cb doc loader um, for the example I use uh, I used uh, um, 5,000 uh, tracks uh, 40 uh, 400 uh, albums and uh, 40 artists so I started the infra j start the connector and simply ingest the data automatically sync to new 4 j this is an example to see how a JSON, this is a um, Spotify JSON, uh, becomes a, a graph. So as you can see, uh, the track has a, a, an artist, uh, the um, album also has an artist, and the track has an album, all uh, automatically. So uh, with uh, the with the graph, uh, you can do the um, a simple recommendation. Uh, starting from the artist uh, Daddy Yankee, you can find the other art artists who work uh, in some album, um, and you obtain this kind of graph. Now I start to uh, write uh, by hand this uh, document and put in another uh, bucket. Synchronize it uh, with Neo4j and uh, using the rule of name and ID, it reuse the node of the existing graph. And uh, now I can do a more sophisticated um, recommendation and uh, of course uh, uh, it's not my favorite album but <laughs> um, it's only for example uh, so uh, as you can see uh, the mixing a different uh, data source uh, inside inside the same graph uh, it's very simple using this kind of connector because uh, all the logic is inside uh, the new 4 j um, here uh, there is uh, the configuration node we are thinking to move it uh, on uh, neo4j.conf file but now the way to um, uh, configure the plugin is uh, create a node uh, with the label json config and set uh, this property uh, we build uh, um, some builder to transform the json and uh, all of you can write your own or ask to us at github to uh, write it um, so um, this is the link to the documentation i suggest to um, follow the github pages because uh, it's um, more updated than uh, the site but um, if you want to send some issues or uh, if you are interested to this uh, uh, project, you can write on uh, GitHub or uh, visit the Larus uh, site. Um, this is all. Uh, there are, uh, are there any questions about uh, Ductograph? Okay, uh, thank you very much. <laughs>